Alright! Yes! Did you guys like that intro? I thought so. Maybe you didn't. But I like it. Brooks, thanks for putting that on. Uh, Alright! It's Pulse Motor Build-Off! 2013, it's finally here and it is starting. This is the 25th of August. And it's starting. Midnight tonight. That's my local time, but that's okay. Point is, there is a timer, okay, posted on the website and both the forums, and that timer is your deadline, okay? No matter where you're at in the world, that timer's synced up with everybody's. That's it. <clears throat> so, when does it end? It ends on the 22nd of September, okay? I have a bunch of papers here. I'm going to try to read some of the rules, but do not take this video only for reference. Go read the rules. The links will be in the description, okay? So, Pulse Motor Build Off 2013. What's this all about? It's about having fun. That's why I'm wearing a pink shirt and my daughter's hat. Yeah, really. It's about having fun. <clears throat> so, have some fun. Pulse Motor Build Off. This year is going to be a little bit relaxed. There isn't really any rules. The only rules pertain to how you enter the contest and uh, the groups of which you'll be placed in. Um, so let's get started. Without further ado, Pulse Mortar Build Off is beginning right now. The first rule you must post a video or some photos and a text of the beginning of your build. We want you to do this so that we know that you're not building something you've already built. <clears throat> you need to build it from scratch. You need to start from scratch. You can use pieces and parts from other builds that you've done, but you must heavily modify this stuff. You can't take a whole base and all the stuff with it and kind of just manipulate it a little. It's got to be sort of built from scratch. It's kind of one of the entries, uh, one of the rules you have to do. Number two, there will be two categories. This means there will be six top third place winners. One, two, and three in one category. One, two, and three in the other category. There will also be two extra winners that me and Tin Man will actually handpick. It could be the beginner from No Man's Land that has no idea what he's doing, but he's having a lot of fun and showing that he's trying. You might be the winner. So don't discourage anybody out there. This is not discouraging for those who have never built a pulse motor. We invite everyone. That's the point. It's about learning, sharing, and having fun. Um, what else? Oh, the, the video at the beginning of this video, the intro video. I'm actually going to be posting that. Um, I'll have links and stuff on the thread and my website and Ten Man's thread on his website. Those will be, what I'd like you to do with those is actually take that, download it, and enter it into your video for your winner, uh, for your entry video. The videos must not be longer than three minutes. That does not include the promo video that I'm allowing you to stick in there. That, that time doesn't count against you. Three minutes. If you go over three minutes on your entry, that's it. Game over. You're out. It's got to be three minutes or less. And we do that because it takes a lot of time to go through these videos. And we don't want our judges bored to death by watching a 24-minute video. This guy. First Pulse Motor Build Off. Oh, what else do I do? Okay, that's what I do. Um, what else do we got? Uh, the links for your video. You can post the videos for the entries on the Pulse Motor Build Off threads. There are links, two of them, one for the IAEC.formco website and one for the open-source-energy.org website. Those two places are the only places you can enter your video for competition. If you don't have a camera, use your cell phone. If you don't have a video on your cell phone, take pictures with anything you can find. And you can also enter via fit, uh, photographs and add some text into what you're, you're doing there. Um, so even if you don't have a video camera, that doesn't disqualify you from entering. You can still enter um, with photographs. might be a little harder to win because we can't tell what's going on and we don't know what's really working. But uh, just keep that in mind. You can enter just photographs as entries, but they must be yours and you must prove that they're yours. Um, what else do we got? Oh, what's a pulse motor? A rotating device that turns by pulses. Those pulses are not limited to electrical pulses. It can be gas pulses, liquid pulses, or anything that creates a pulse force. Most of the time it's a repetitive pulse, but could be limited to one pulse. 
that is used to rotate the device's mechanism, rotor, flywheel, etc. It can be big or small, made from any material, and the wackier and the most use of resources, the better. Doesn't mean we're going to judge you differently, but we like to see people who use their resources. Um, I can build just about anything with just things that I can find on the side of the street. I know you guys can too. It just takes a little bit of extra effort, but it's worth doing. So, um, I think I've hit all the points. Again, don't take this video solely. Make sure you go read the rules and regulations, okay? You must go read them for yourself. Also, what are we, what are we doing for um, judges? Um, Steve Jones is actually one of our judges this year. I really want to thank him for doing that. That is awesome. Um, if you guys haven't seen um, Steve Jones's uh, stuff, a while back he posted a very, very, very interesting device that he had tested with uh, some pretty highly um, expensive equipment and come out to the point where he thinks he's got something worth looking at. So check that out. Mark Dancy is one of our judges. Thank you, Mark, again for being a judge. And of course, Zero Fossil Fuel is one of our judges. You gotta love Zero, right? He just he's he's in this for the for the the fun, learning, and sharing aspect of it. So that's what we like to see. Um, I think that's about all I got to say. I want to keep this video short and sweet. Prizes, I know, right? Prizes. What are we doing with prizes? We are actually looking for people who would like to donate prizes. A few of them already have. There will be a handheld oscilloscope donated by Ten Man. I am going to donate a levitator device uh, for one of the prizes. And Alan from the IAEC.formco has also um, donated a bunch of little knick-knack prizes and really cool stuff. Uh, an SSG kit, a nice pair of uh, digital calipers, um, a digital thermometer. Um, there are a pair of uh, spy glasses looking things, glasses with a high def camera in them, pretty cool deal. There's two of those. Um, there's a couple of meters with shunts, digital readout meters, a couple of counters, and there's probably more. Oh, so, if you'd like to donate a prize or know someone who would like to be a sponsor, um, you know, maybe some big website they want to get a little promotion in, I'll be happy to accept anything to give away as prizes because that's what it's all about. This is all voluntary. We put this on for fun. Um, if you'd like a little bit of background, me and Tin Man, I believe last year it was, decided we're just going to have this random competition. We gave it two weeks, threw it out there online, and had all the people out there that wanted to join us pitch in, and we gave away prizes. Had a great time. Really got people involved. People that have no idea what a pulse motor is, don't know what they're doing, came and tried to build something. It was fantastic. So that's what this is all about, having fun. That's why I got this lovely hat on, because... It's about having fun. We like having fun and uh, learning and sharing. So that's it. Pulse Motor Build Off 2013 has officially began. Make sure you check out the links in this description. You'll have everything you need to know. Read the rules on the websites and forums. Do not just take this video for the rules. Got it? All right. Good luck to you guys. Uh, the winners will be sometime about two weeks after the competition. There's a really cool thing happening, and you'll get to see why it's kind of a big delay after the entries are there. So, that's it. You ready? You ready to have some fun? Let's go. Good luck to you guys. Have fun. Peace and love. And we'll see. I think there's going to be some very awesome entries this year. So, that's it. Bye. Thought I was done. I'm not done yet. I forgot to mention, there will be a 15 minutes of fame on the Smart Scarecrow show, as well as a small piece of show for what they call Shazaz Mad Scientist show. That's actually a radio show, and we'll, we'll be promoting it there, actually, and also having the winners that would like to come and speak on there. The radio show is done through Skype. And it's broadcasted through a big network, so it's it's a lot of fun. So I, I forgot to add that we will be doing the 15 Minutes of Fame. Thank you, Gary, for doing that. And, uh, yeah, good luck. See you. Go! Now! Build! I gotta go!